people were very interested in the fact that I am a surfer from New Hampshire, um, just because that's that's so uncommon. Our coastline's only 18 miles. Only 13 of that is actually surfable due to the amount of rocks. Having the sea coast as an asset to your surfing, it plays a huge factor because of how close it is to UNH. Not only the sea coast, we also have Maine. That is a quick drive as well. If it is very good and I can afford to go, I'll try to wake up as early as I can and get in the water by the time the sun's up, which is kind of grueling in the winter when it's below 20. I love the cold water when it comes to surfing. And for a quick drive to the mountains as well. So when I'm not surfing, I can go snowboard. Surfing in the winter, uh, the temperatures around here in terms of water temp is around 40 in those peak months, January, February. I mean, one of the toughest things is uh, putting on the wetsuit, mentally preparing yourself to enter the water because it is so cold. Besides being a finance major, I'm also an environmental geography major. With that, I very much in depth looked into what's happening with storms. I understand them, I understand how they work. A lot of our storm systems are just low pressure systems that cross through the mid latitudes, hit the coastline, but then when the winds turn around, when, when that storm's on the way out, uh, it's typically when it gets a little nicer. Depending on class time, I'll be able to go before class, after class, I'm really working around my academics. Academics come first. What's crucial about UNH is not only are the academics good at the Paul School, but also the drive is only about 30 minutes to the seacoast. I've surfed all over the world. I've surfed Portugal, Australia, Costa Rica, Nicaragua. Nothing really does it for me like New Hampshire.